Greetings, Lucky Legends. Welcome to the dojo. My name is Lucky. This is Lucky Lad TV. I'm your host for this video, and it's time for Lucky Analytics live team building around waffles. Who wants breakfast? I do, even though it is 8.27 p.m. at night. And this set is something that I came up with that... Because Stoutland is extremely versatile, uh, especially as a normal type Pokemon being only weak to fighting. It's it's type of Pokemon that can do a lot of stuff. It also has really great base stats across the board. And it also has access to three good abilities. Sand Rush, not as viable as Scrappy and Intimidate. As you can see, this is a Silk Scarf Scrappy Waffles with Facade, Retaliate, Yawn, and Pursuit. So basically, I have not had the chance to test this set out yet, but going off of my gut, here's the way that I see it. We can, if one of our Pokemon go down, we can send in Waffles and fire off a Silk Scarf Retaliate, which will have 140 base power, and nothing really wants to take that from an Adamant Max Attack Stoutland. And ghost types are not a switch in. Then we have Facade. Facade is on there as a backup in case we get burned. Or toxic or paralyzed, but primarily in case we get burned, making retaliate less useful. Then we have Yawn and Pursuit. Yawn and Pursuit go together. Basically the way that I see it is my I can use Yawn predicting my opponent to switch something in. And then in order to prevent it from being put to sleep, they would switch it out, which is when I can hit it with Pursuit, and therefore not waste a turn. So that's sort of my plan with Waffles here. Waffles is weak to fighting, of course, so I need something that, you know, can take fighting hits relatively easily. As for the EV spread, before I build the core around Waffles, the 228 EVs in speed are to guarantee that we will outspeed a Hitmonchan that is adamant. Or basically anything that is not a positive speed nature, we will outspeed Hitmonchan. Because Hitmonchan's max speed without a speed raise raising nature is 128. So we have enough speed to make sure that we outspeed that. And Retaliate would in fact one shot and yeah i don't i don't think a mock punch would kill us just because stoutland has good natural bulk to it but you know again those would be things that we would find out through team testing but this is a live team building so it's based off of instinct so we need something that can take fighting hits immediately we see stuff like mega audino although it does not resist fighting it is neutral to fighting can take any sort of hit. Exeggutor, not really that bulky. Claydol is bulky but has just a butt ton of weaknesses. Garbodor can easily take physical hits. However, it is not really what I'm looking for. Golurk can also take... well, Golurk's immune to fighting. Granville is actually looking really nice. It has the Intimidate which would put on a lot of pressure and it has access to a really nice move pool and it's got good natural bulk to it. So we're going to keep that in the back of our mind for now. Other options we see... We see Mesprit, which is, you know, bulky across the board. We see Musharna, which is bulky across the board. And uh, with Synchronize could actually come in handy. I think between, between Musharna and... Between Musharna and Granbull, I would lean towards Granbull. What else do we see? We see Rotom Fan. Mm, potential. We see Scyther. Scyther is extremely bulky with an Eevee Light. And it double resists fighting. The issue is, is that it's double weak to rock. So if we if we don't manage to get a rabbit spinner on this team, that would be quite the issue. Then we see Weezing which is a legendary physical wall and has access to Will-O-Wisp, which is something that Granbull does not. I'm gonna go with the Weezing 
I haven't used Weezing in a while. I'm going to name you James, as that is what I name my Weezings. Make you male, as James is male. I'm going to give you the Black Sludge. Levitate, Will-O-Wisp. I'm going to give you... What else am I going to give you? I'm definitely going to give you... Sludge Bomb. I'm going to give you... I'm liking the idea of having Protect. On here, well first I'm going to do the EV spread. I'm going to give you 244, 252, uh, minus attack nature as you are special. And then I'm going to simply go with 4, 4, and 4. Just in case somebody has an uninvested Weezing and we can outspeed it. There's a lot of options that we can go with here. Weezing has access to a lot of pretty cool moves. I know for a fact I want these two. We have our stab attack and we have Will-O-Wisp Will do burn things. I'm actually going to leave the rest of this blank for now. Uh, I'm going to wait and see what else we put on the team before I fill out these move slots. Weezing's only weakness is Psychic, so we need something that can take Psychic hits. Immediately I would lean towards a Dark type because Dark type is immune to Psychic. However, one of the things that I have learned is that there are not really that many bulky Dark types available to us down here in NU. We could go with an Assault Vest Skuntank, as it is only weak to ground. But, you know, it still wouldn't really accomplish what we need it to. So, next we have to think, well, what else resists Psychic? Well, we have Psychic itself. Psychic, of course, resists Psychic. And I went to grab my phone for my type chart because I can't open up my, I can't open up that tab on here because it'll start recording it and I don't want to do that. Uh, Psychic is resisted by Psychic, Dark, and Steel. Now, Steel would cause an issue, as it would give us a second fighting weakness. And I don't want to do that just yet, especially n since we don't have any any Psychic resist- I mean, any f other fighting resistances besides James. So I'm going to look for a Psychic type that can resist Psychic. Most Psychic types carry Shadow Ball. There's no denying that. So I would like to find something that, you know, Ghost is an extremely good offensive type. Pretty much nothing resists it. Normal is immune to it. So I do have Waffles for that, which could be interesting because then we could fire off that Pursuit on the switch out. So we see Behem. Behem would be pretty interesting. We see Grumping. Grumping is very specially defensive. And it also has access to Thick Fat, which would give us an extra fire and ice resistance. I also do not have my Team Magma page up, which is a little off-putting because I'm trying to go off of just what I can think and remember. Uh, we see Del Fox, which does really nicely with an Assault Vest. It would give it really nice natural bulk. Uh, Gallade does not resist Psychic. It is neutral to it. Bronzong double resists Psychic, however, it is... that's a big fire weakness on the team, just because nothing else we have right now resists fire. Uh, it's also not in the right tier. <laughs> just notice that. We see Musharna. Musharna is still looking really nice. Musharna could be given the Assault Vest, however, it's not necessary. I'm gonna go with Musharna. I'm going to name you Dream Pig. I'm going to bring you down a level 50. I'm going to make you female. <laughs> I'm going to give you Synchronize. I'm going to give you Energy Ball for grass coverage because it's important to have grass coverage. I'm going to give you Moonlight. I'm going to give you... Psy... Psy... I'm not sure. I am not sure about that one. I'm definitely going to give you... You could be a Calm Mind Sweeper. Or you could be a Heal Beller. I'm gonna give you your Psych... I'm gonna actually leave this blank for now and see if we have enough Psychic... or to see just what we have. 
Let me give you the leftovers. I can do your EV spread now. Max HP, max special defense. No attack needed. In fact, I'm going to bring this down to zero in case somebody tries to hit you with a foul play. And four into special attack. So right now, we have no unchecked weaknesses as far as I can tell. Psychic is weak to Bug, which is resisted by poison. It is weak to Ghost, which Stoutland is immune to. And it is weak to Dark, which we do not have a resistance to yet. So Dark is the issue that we have right now. Which leads me to want to use a... It leads me to want to use a fairy type, but that would not work. We could also use a dark type, or we can go with a fighting type. A fighting type would give us another psychic weakness, however. So I would want a fighting type that is neutral to psychic. The other thing that we could go with is... We could look for a dark type. However, that would... Actually, that wouldn't be too bad. There's actually... Well, that would be another fighting weakness. I'm, I'm trying to think of dark types. I'm, tr I'm trying to think of a bunch of different stuff right now. Uh, but for now, let's just try and think of a... A fighting type that we could use, potentially. Let's see what we have down here in the NU tier. We have Harryama, we have Girder, which can sponge up hits with the Eviolite. It can it can really sponge up some good hits. We have Harryama, we have Hitmonchan, which is extremely specially defensive. We have Polyrath, which is just naturally bulky. However, all the mons that have been listed are weak to Psychic, and we only have the one resistance. We have... Medicham's not in the tier. Is there anything else? We have Machoke, another example of a Pokemon that is uh, extremely bulky with Eviolite, but again, not not really what we need. Because it does not resist the psychic. We can obviously just accept another psychic weakness, but we we would need a steel type immediately. To sponge up those psychic type attacks or we could right now just go and look for a dark type which would give us another bug weakness that we would have to address we could go with the poniard we could also go with skun tank but I'm not happy about skun tank the poniard poniard is double weak to fighting it has Defiant, Inner Focus, Pressure. Uh, Ponyard is not what we need. We really need something... What do we really need on the team right now? We really need something that can eat up... Dark-type attacks. What can eat up Dark-type attacks? Let's see what we have to choose from. Because I would like to avoid adding another Psychic Weakness onto the team. The other thing we... Well, hold on. Is there anything all the way down here with Justified? There is not. So that's not going to work. We could go... With Audino, Fairy does resist Dark. It's a Steel weakness and a Poison weakness. We don't have anything to resist Steel. But we can add a Fairy type onto the team. I don't know why Fairy completely missed my mind. I don't know why. Uh, we have Audino, we have Mawile, we have Granbull. Oh, the Mega Audino, of course. Mega Audino could be interesting. We also have some other options like Floet with an Eviolite, which will take special hits extremely well. We have... We have Granbull that I was talking about in the beginning, 
with the Intimidate. Intimidate and Assault Vest go together very well, especially on Granbull, who has decent natural bulk to it. However, I really want something that's cleric-y, so that Waffles can maintain that, uh, that pursuit and retaliate pressure. I'm gonna go with Audino, or Mega Audino rather. It has great natural bulk to it. I'm gonna bring it down to level 50. I'm gonna name it Nurse Joy, that is what I name my Audinos. I'm gonna make it female, obviously. Healer is its ability. It is going to have the Dazzling Gleam for Stab. It is going to have the Heal Bell to keep my Pokemon healthy. It is going to have the Wish. Once I get down there, it is, there's the Wish. And then, what else would I like it to have? I like the idea of having Thunder Wave. Thunder Wave could be helpful, but I, I think I'm going to go with Toxic. Just because Toxic would really help out with shenanigans. Because one of the things that I was encountering earlier was uh, Rest Audino which was causing a lot of issues, and I already have an idea in my head of what I'm planning on using to sort of counter that. So, I'm gonna go with the Audino, and I'm gonna give you the Toxic. And then I'm going to give you max HP, and max special attack. And I'm gonna get rid of your Toxic, because I just realized I don't need Toxic. And I'm going to give you... I'm going to give you the Ice Beam. Would Ice Beam work? What are you going to be switching in on? You're going to be switching in on Dark Types. Primarily. And the Dark Types down here... You're going to have Signal Beam. Because there's a lot of Pokemon down here that really would not appreciate a Signal Beam. 4, 4, 4. And immediately, now I know that I need a Steel type, and I have a very specific Steel type in mind, because it's able to take on the Mega Audino really well. And that is Clinklang. I very often lean towards Clang, but... <laughs> Wait, G-E-A-R-S space O-F space W-A-R. Gears of War 2. That way it fits. Because Gears of War with spaces is too big. Too many. And the reason I'm going with this is... And I'll explain the set in just a second. You have that, you have that, you have Shift Gear, you have Volt Switch for Switch Initiative, and you have... You don't really get any other good physical attacking moves. I'm leaning towards Substitute. I'm leaning heavily towards Substitute. I'm definitely leaning heavily towards Substitute. I'm going with Substitute. I'm going to give you max attack. No special attack needed. And then I'm going to give you max speed, because that's going to be raised plenty, and then just right there. So the point of this set is to handle Mega Audino and any other fairy types that we may encounter down here. Uh, clear body works really well because we can't be intimidated, and basically I can get behind a substitute because the set that I've been having a problem with is Rest, Sleep Talk, Calm Mind, Dazzling Gleam. And basically what I can do is I can bring in Gears of War, I can get behind a Substitute, I can set up a Shift Gear, and then I can fire off Gear Grinds, which should be a two-hit KO. I don't think Nurse Joy, or whatever their Mega Audino is, I don't think it will be able to stall that out. I don't think it will last long enough. Other things about this set, and I'm just looking at the team, the last Pokemon needs to be physical. The other thing about this set is, the reason I'm going with the wide lens is because I really don't want to miss a gear grind. 
and 85 accuracy is not that great. I don't know why it doesn't have better accuracy. It doesn't really make sense to me. But let's look at our team right now. Nurse Joy is weak to Steel and Poison, which we have covered. Gears of War is weak to Fire, which we have no resistances for right now. It is weak to Ice, sorry, it is weak to Fighting, which we have two resistances for, so we're okay with that. It is weak to Ground, which we have an immunity for and no other weaknesses, so we're good with that. Fire, Fighting, and Ground, that's it. So we just need something that can take fire type attacks. And that can take fire type attacks really well. We also need something that is physical. So the other option is we can always switch Dream Pig out and go with the thick fat bacon. Grump pig, that's what it's called. Bacon. Uh, that is an option. It is an ever-present option. But I would like to see if we can get something with flash fire first. Or we could go with... A water type would not work. We have nothing right now that resists electric. However, a water and ground type would work. Because we have two grass resistances. So we could go with a water ground type. However, let's see if we can get something with flash fire first. Because that is what I would prefer. However, it would be another ground weakness that we can't handle, so I don't think it's really an option. I think we're going to go with the water ground type. Water ground. Um, it's actually going to be easier if I search for ground. Uh, we have Barboach. No. We have Wooper. No. We have Gastron and RU. Seismitoad and RU. We have Quagsire. Quagsire does not hit very hard. It does not. Uh, 85 is not that good. I'm actually thinking we'd be better off switching out Dream Pig and going with an Assault Vest, uh, Bacon. Where's Bacon? Grump Pig. That's your name. I, I call it Bacon because that's what I always name it. Bacon. 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 Assault Vest. Bacon. Bacon! Thick fat. Bring it down to level 50. Make you female. Shiny? No, not shiny. Uh, we're gonna go with Power Gem because you do learn Power Gem, which is the best rock type move in the game. We're gonna go with Energy Ball because Energy Ball is a fantastic move. We are going to go with Signal Beam. No, we already have Signal Beam. We're going to go with Shadow Ball because Shadow Ball is good for coverage. And then we're going to go with. I wish you got a. I wish you got Giga Drain, but that would be kind of ridiculous. I'm going to go with. Psy Shock, because our physical presence is not that great right now. Max attack, max special defense. Pretty much the same exact set as that other thing that we have, and four, because all of your moves are attacks, which means you, you there, you're gonna have Dark Pulse for coverage. Just, literally just for coverage, that's the only reason. Actually, no, because we're gonna have a knockoff user, so we don't need any more of that. We do, however, need you to have Flamethrower for fire coverage. And then we're going to go with Protect. I like having Protect on at least one Pokemon on the team to scout out Scarfers. So now we have no unchecked weaknesses. Which means that we can kind of play around with the last Pokemon. I want something with Knockoff. I would also like something that can set up Stealth Rocks. I would also like something that has Rapid Spin. However, none of our Pokemon are actually weak to Rock. So Stealth Rocks don't really do that much to our team. I would like to have rocks on my opponent's side of the field. However, it's it's not, you know, super priority. Um, what type can we go with? A dark type would not work. It would add another fighting weakness that we can't handle. So we're not going to have stab knockoff. We... Could we go with a fighting type? Fighting type would give us a flying weakness that we're fine with. It would give us a fairy weakness that we are fine with. And it would give us a psychic weakness that we are in fact fine with. So we can go with a pure fighting type. And as long as it's a pure fighting type, we will be fine. I need to have access to the knockoff. I don't think either of these two have access to knockoff. 
The reason I like Primeape is because it does have the U-turn, but I don't think it gets- it does not get knockoff, so unfortunately that's not an option. <laughs> Again, we are going with Fighting type. I'm really not worried about Rapid Spin being on this team, as we have nothing that is even weak to Rockets. Everything here is neutral or resisted, so I'm not too worried about it. Uh, we could go with... We could go with Girder. I'm not gonna go with Hariyama. Because I would like something that's fast as well. We could go with Sock. Sock is an option. It would also give us access to Earthquake. And really nice attack set, and it's pretty fast as well. We could put a Choice Scarf on it with Mold Breaker, so we can hit any potential Levitators. What else could we use? We could go with Eevee Light Girder. Girder has access to knockoff. I know that. Uh, Hariyama we simply don't need. However, what I just realized is if we go with Hariyama, that could be our Thick Fat. However, it would... Mm, no. No, it's, it's, it's not what I need. Uh, we could go with Girder. Because we did lose our Heal Beller. No, we have Heal Bell. We have Heal Bell on you, so we're fine with that. So I don't want a Guts Pokemon because I plan on keeping things healthy. We could go with Machoke. Machoke has kind of been running through this tier lately, however, it is very, very slow. We can go with Throw. Throw doesn't really... I'm really leaning towards Sock. I really like the idea of having Sock on here with that Choice Scarf. Mold Breaker, because you do get access to Earthquake, Close Combat, Knock Off, I know you got that, and I think we're going to go with Poison Jab. I can't really think of any other coverage that we need on the team, but we have no poison cover- no, we do have poison coverage, we have Weezing. Um, what coverage do we not have? We have Ice Coverage. No. Ice Punch it is. So, bring you down to level 50. I'm gonna name you Champion, that's what I name my socks. I'm gonna give you the Choice Scarf. I'm going to give you Max Attack, Adamant Nature, very easy spread. 252 into speed. You will be a very fast little mon. Alright, you're automatically male. I don't believe we have ice coverage. We do not. Okay. So this is actually a team that I'm very happy with. Um, I had to do the whole Team Magma part in my head. Which was not particularly fun, but... Uh, I think I managed to do it alright. So this is our team, we have three physical mods, three special mods, which is like, which is how I like to split up my teams. And looking at it now, I actually want you to have Psychic rather than Psyshock. Because our physical presence is actually, now our physical and special presence is about equal. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We have eight special attacks. And we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight physical attacks. We actually have nine special attacks because Volt Switch is special, but that's really only there for Switch Initiative, so I don't really count it. So we're very balanced physical to special ratio, which I am a big fan of. We have Waffles, which is, of course, the star of this team, and I'm very happy with how Waffles turned out and how it was able to lead this team. I was trying to build around a few other normal types, and it didn't go as well. And breakfast was a success. The waffles are golden brown and delicious. They're nice and crispy and fluffy on the inside. Syrup and some butter. Add some fruit if you want. Waffles is here with the facade, yawn, retaliate, and pursuit. Fast enough to outspeed an, an adamant or otherwise. Hitmonchan. Then we have James, our will-o'-wisping, protecting... Black Sludge Recovering Weezing with Sludge Bomb and Flamethrower, Max Defense, Max HP. We have Bacon, or Bacon sh should be male actually, it's Bacon. I think Bacon's more of a manly food. Oh, uh, we have Bacon, 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 Bacon. 
Uh, with the Power Jam Energy Ball, Shadow Ball, and Psychic Energy Ball is there for the Quagsires that you will encounter in the NU tier, as it is a great physical wall, and it's only weak to grass, but we have grass coverage, so we're fine. We have Nurse Joy with Dazzling Gleam, Heal Bell, Wish, and Signal Beam. Wish is for wish passing to other things, and Signal Beam is just a nice thing to have. There's, you know, there's no way around. Signal Beam is a nice thing to have, especially when you have stuff like Malamar, running around because signal beam will catch people off guard. It is not a very common move to have on an Audino. As I said, the Audino set that's been running around lately is Rest, Sleep, Talk, Calm Mind, and Dazzling Gleam, which is why we have Gears of War, Gear Grind, Shift Gear, Volt Switch, and Substitute. Volt Switch is really just there for switch initiative in case we go up against something that completely walls us. I don't know what that would be off the top of my head if we're at plus one or plus two, potentially. And then last but not least, we have Champion, our choice, Scarfed, Sock, Max Attack, Max Speed, Earthquake, Close Combat, Knock Off, and Ice Punch. It has the Knock Off pressure. It has the Ice coverage for the... I don't know. I don't think there's actually anything double weak to Ice down here. It has a Close Combat. It has the Earthquake. The Earthquake is for the Levitators that we may encounter. But that is our team. I am very, I'm very pleased with it. I'm going to, I'm going to go test it out, see how it works. But I thank you guys so very much for watching and for joining me here at the dojo. If you enjoyed, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. It's very much greatly appreciated. But with that, I'm going to get about. Best luck out there. I will see you all soon. Goodbye.